Hello everybody, and welcome to this edition of Mr. J's Geek Corner. Thanks for talking about anything and everything Jay's Geek, whether it be TV, comics, movies, video games. Before I get started, I want to just wish, hope, hope everybody out there had a safe and happy um, holiday season, no matter what you're celebrating. Um, I hope y'all had a safe and happy holiday, and hope y'all hope y'all went the way y'all want it. And just a few days from now, it's going to be um, it's going to be the start of a whole new. It's going to be the end of 2017, the start of a whole new year. Can't believe it's already here. Feels like we already started the year. Now here it's ended, and um, a lot of big stuff happened this year. So just want to go over a few of the highlights and some of the lowlights with you right quick. And um, starting off, which is um, um, the big story that happened last week of Disney buying Fox. And everybody I know has been looking, been chomping at the bit to talk about this ever since they heard that Disney was interested in it. And it's going to, um, and now, now they've, now it's been done. And they've basically got X Men, all the X Men, the Fantastic Four characters back. And as good as that is, I still think this is a horrible thing. I still think this is a really bad idea. It's kind of nightmarish to me. I'll go into it later in a future video, but I'm just saying I'm not particularly fond of this. I don't like the sound of this in any way, so <laughs> but I'll go into it more in another time in another video. Um, and in DC and, and big comics news this year, the whole uh, big things that happened in comics, one being Superman Reborn, in which you figure out why there are two different Superman and we're in the basically figure that whole thing out why there are two Superman roaming around the DC universe. And um, and pretty much they resolve all that and everything, and you end up with a kind of whole new Superman. And if you want to um, uh, read my uh, see my review on that, um, I'll be putting a description. I'll be putting a link into the in, to that video in the description below, and so you can see that in fuller detail. And um, also. Doomsday Clock started this year. The direct sequel to the Watchmen started this year, and it looks to be off to a rousing start. And can't wait to see what else it is coming up this year, also. So, so definitely fingers crossed for that. And Marvel this year has kind of ran into a few humps in the road because of their whole thing with um, the big, some of the big blunders they've done with some of the characters, and um, also Secret Empire, all that stuff going on. They kind of hit rock bottom. It kind of lost a lot of sales and they're trying pretty much trying to make up for that with um with um legacy their own version of rebirth so then they're going to try to bring back a lot of classic characters so we'll see how that pans out later in a few and we're in um, marvel um also in tv news um they've had a few um dc and both marvel both had pretty good hits this year with um um, the continuation of the DC TV verse on the CW and their big crossover they had Christ on Earth X, which was very good, I might add. Um, and Punisher for Marvel over on Netflix. But there have been a couple humps ups in a row for both. I mean, they've had their DC had their downs with Powerless, which was not all that good, and got canceled before the sh the first season even ended. And um, yeah, and with Marvel, they got like the whole Defenders and Luke Cage thing that ain't and Iron Fist ain't definitely ain't fetching good ratings right now. And um, so we'll have to see how Punisher and like uh, Jessica Jones season two is going to start next year. So we'll have to see how that pans out for them. But they really have not had a good TV year other than Punisher. And movies this year, you had Wonder Woman, which was excellent. Basically, a history of Wonder Woman and one move in on one two hour two and a half hour movie so <laughs> that one was really good justice league which was to me was really good but it's a, another, yet another divisive film to come out of dc comics if you want to hear more in detail about that i will be leaving the description for my review of justice league in the comment and the um description uh, link to the to it in the description below and same with the um other uh, the other movie that just came out recently last jedi i just recently did a uh, uh, it was a really good movie. If you want to see my full review, um, the link's in the description below. Um, um, War for the Planet of the Apes, really good. Power Rangers, really good. Kong, excellent. Um, Power Rangers was really good. It ain't the original, but still, it's good. <laughs> it's still good. It doesn't stink. Um, and I said Kong Skull Island, excellent. 
Um, there's a lot of other movies I didn't get to this year, mainly because if it's Marvel, I'm definitely boy boycotting it. But otherwise, I just didn't get to it this year. But um, these are the main ones that I, I was able to see, and they were really good. And video games news this year, the big controversy with Battlefront, it just kind of, the whole pay-to-win pay thing, it just kind of made a lot of folks really mad. And personally, I'm just not going <laughs> to... I might go to that in another video in the future, but y'all basically probably know the headlines. It just didn't go over a lot of fans, and they just kind of lost a lot of customers over that EA has. So that was a big, but game does look pretty good, though. It does look pretty good. I wouldn't mind trying in the future away from it, away from all that mess. But this year has been a really good year, and I'll be leaving it to, um, another link in this comment in the description below for my coming attraction show because there's a lot coming next year it's going to be really good so definitely check out that video too but um what do y'all think of this year was this year a hit was it a bust um did what was y'all's favorite this year let me know in the comments below and as always like comment and subscribe uh, share and tell all your friends and that's it for mr j's geek corner 2017 and i'll see y'all in 2018